<laughs> you move on to Toyota, makers of the 92 Camry where you got your first backseat handjob. <laughs> Toyota is famous for making dependable vehicles, but this week we learned something surprising about who exactly has been depending on them. The United States wants Toyota to explain how yeah. ISIS is getting their hands on so many Toyota trucks and SUVs. Their propaganda videos show convoys made up mostly of Toyota Hilux pickups and Land Cruisers. And now ABC News has learned that a U.S. Treasury counterterrorism unit is asking Toyota to help them determine how so many of its trucks, both newer and older models, have ended up in the hands of ISIS. Yes. It seems that Toyotas are being used as instruments of death, which is a, it's a bold move because traditionally death on wheels has very much been GM's brand. <laughs> now, that's kind of their area. Now, as you would expect, Toyota is claiming to be baffled as to how this has occurred. Toyota says it doesn't know how ISIS is getting its hands on these trucks. That's right, David. In a statement to ABC News, Toyota says it is not aware of any of its dealerships violating the company policy not to sell to terrorist groups. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. You actually felt the need to make not selling to terrorists official company policy. <laughs> is that in the handbook under things that should go without saying? So, uh, don't sell to terrorists, don't accept magic beans as payment, and don't sell to a cat who walks in with a ruby in its mouth. <laughs> Bro Brian, Brian, what are you trying to do, selling a Yaris to that cat with a ruby in its mouth? You can't do that, Brian. I don't care if it's a cash offer. <laughs> the, the amazing thing is, this is not a new story. Terrorist groups love Toyota vehicles. Back in 2001, the New York Times reported that Osama bin Laden likes Toyota Land Cruisers. <laughs> and Newsweek once ran a story called Why Rebel Groups Love the Toyota Hilux. And in the light of this news this week, you would think Toyota would at least change the name of one of their cars. Incidentally, Toyota does sell a make of car called the Isis. Oh, come on, Toyota! You're giving Isis built-in vanity plates! <laughs> It seems Toyota might have a genuine problem here, because by the looks of it, ISIS seems to really like their cars. Other brands like Mitsubishi, Hyundai, and Isuzu have also been spotted in these ISIS videos, but nothing even remotely close to the amount of Toyota vehicles. In fact, a former U.S. ambassador to the U.N. told ABC News that, regrettably, Toyota has almost become part of the ISIS brand. Wow! At this rate, we are just a few months away from ISIS-owned Toyota dealerships. <laughs> complete with fully armed windsock guy. <laughs> Come on down to ISIS Toyota, our salesmen are terrorists you can negotiate with. <laughs>